All right, Lego fans. So welcome back to Bricks and Studs. So today we've got another freaking awesome review for you. If you're new to the channel, please remember to comment, like, subscribe, do what you gotta do. Become part of the Lego fam, guys, so that you can see all these awesome sets right when they come out as soon as possible. So this was the first time lapse I've ever done. This is the Lego Ninjago movie Fire Mech. So this is uh, Kai, I believe it's Kai. Let's see if it says, yeah guys, Kai. So this is his big freaking monstrous robot that is meant to compete against the Ninjago Green Dragon, which I've done a review of. Check that out on the channel, guys. And the Garmadon Garma Mecha Man. That's the other freaking awesome big giant uh, robot that he can fight. So as you can see, it's got 944 pieces. We did a time lapse of this one. We're going to do a time lapse of every single other set that we buy after this. So it might be another week or so before we can actually start doing time lapses again. But until then, I'm just going to keep giving you guys more reviews because I've promised you at least two to three videos a week. And I'm going to hold up to that, guys. So here's me. Uh, my name is Matt. And like I said, this is Bricks and Studs. Remember to subscribe, comment, like, and just make sure to check out the channel, guys. So let's see, this set's going to come with a total of six minifigures. You've got Kai over here, the red ninja. You have Zane over here, he is the white ninja. You've got a scared citizen lady, and you have a scared citizen man. And he is actually the guy right there that's stuck in some wet cement, about to lose his ice cream, popsicle, whatever you want to call that, doohickey right there. And you can see he looks completely sad and super upset because he's got this big monstrous robot storming behind him and he has no idea what to do so anyways that's him then we have another shark army man right here and we have another dude right here and he's for part of the shark army but he's got a jellyfish over his head so really cool the little uh technique they use to build that dome is really awesome just two little plastic halves and they just clip over his head really awesome so yeah guys you can see some really cool box art i always save the boxes and when i do my giveaways i will be disassembling these sets and putting them back in the boxes let's see here's the back you can see some of the play features here's kai jumping out with his little swords jumping down to attack probably these two jerks over here i mean look they're making this lady drop her freaking ice cream guys that ain't cool come around you can see uh, Zane's pulling this guy out of the cement and he's about to lose his popsicle for like the second or third time uh, yeah guys so it's really awesome when it's fully complete and standing in a certain way it stands at 14 inches at its tallest point so anyways we're not here to look at a box guys so there's the big tall monstrous 14 inch tower robotic terror in the background what we're really here to start with is the Lego guys so here, it, let's not forget about this guy. So starting from the left, here is the little jellyfish man that is part of the shark army. Really cool. Little piece right here just splits right down the middle. Don't know if you can really see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. So it splits right down the middle and you can see it just kind of goes around his, under his head. Mine's a little loose because I didn't tighten his head very tight, which I should have, so I'll probably disassemble that later. But uh, you can see he's got some really cool printing. The little uh, tentacles coming down from the jellyfish dome are right here draping over his swimsuit or snorkeling vest whatever you want to call it he's got a cool little utility belt some printing all the way down to his mid legs which looks awesome no printing on the sleeves because it looks like he's probably wearing a life jacket or a vest of some sort and those are his bare arms got a cool little uh not really sure what this is for but a little uh stud on the back uh of his suit and it's covering some of the printing that's underneath that no printing on the back of the legs He's got his little shark cannon with a built-in stud shooter, which is really cool. If he wants to shoot over here at uh, Mr. Kai and just go boom, which it probably was hard to catch that on camera. But yeah, so let's get him over here and let's pull up the, another, the other uh, bad guy. So he's got his little, uh, it's kind of funny, they use a fish for the grip of all their uh, weapons. And this one's got a really cool hammer. It's actually a Thor hammer sticking out of the fish's mouth. So maybe it's just to give it some more of a cheater bar type thing. But um, let's see, there's this cool little helmet, which seems to be a hammerhead shark, which that's really neat. He's got his cool little scuba backpack right here with these two awesome uh, oxygen tanks. Uh, lots of really cool printing on his costume, which looks great. Uh, if we pop off his helmet, oh yeah, there was no other alternative face for that guy, but this guy, 
has two faces. So you can see he's got more of a angry Italian looking face in a way. No offense any Italians, I'm just saying he's got those handsome looks. Uh, there's the front, another angry face. So this guy has no option. He's just a straight up angry savage man. And he likes to wear a hammerhead's shark head over his own head. So moving on, here is Kai. Now he's very simple com when compared to Zane, but he's just got his uh, regular really cool uh, red ninja suit, which looks awesome. Got some little printing Chinese lettering there. Um, sorry, come on, focus. You can see he's got his cool little back piece right here with that little pendant uh, logo on the back for his ninja team. Uh, really like the cool cherry red color of this guy. Uh, if it would focus on him. Sorry guys, my camera is terrible. Uh, so yeah, no alternative face either. You sit him back. So there's Kai. Oh, and he's got some really cool uh, uh, red uh, designing on his little black legs, pants, whatever you want to call them. And here is Zane. I really like Zane. Zane looks cool. I don't have a lot of him, so this is great. He's got his bow and arrow in this one. No sword. Some arrows wrapped around his neck. Lots of cool little printings on him. Uh, this one's kind of a cyborg, so he's kind of a robotic dude. He's not fully ninja human. Uh, he's got that cool little logo on the top of his head over his forehead. He's got those piercing blue eyes. So really cool minifigure, guys. I really like the minifigures and the schemes. Just the colors of this set are really refreshing, you know, and they're not boring anymore. Like my guy, he needs a new outfit because he's starting to look kind of faded, dated, and boring, guys. So. Maybe I'll get a new outfit on my guy eventually, but for now, I'm really liking these colors. Let's move on. Here is the other uh, citizen lady. I really like her. This is one of the coolest female outfits I've seen on one of the Lego people so far. Really like the cool little blue right here, and she's got a uh, little bit of printing on the back. This really nice hair piece. Looks cool. Looks very realistic. She is terrified for her life, and because she's probably running away from her husband, they probably just got some ice cream and weren't planning on this big robot guy to come through. Uh, whoops, she dropped her ice cream. So anyway, she's got some really cool, colorful, uh, almost old woman style clothing. Uh, no offense, old ladies. Uh, she's got some really cool little uh, printing on the fronts of her feet, probably for like sandals or something. But yeah, there she is. I really like that face. That is really uh, classical and uh, non-original. Let's move on to this guy. So the reason I don't have him standing with the rest of them is because he is stuck in cement, guys. So he's got this little uh, shirt on. He's probably a fan of the Lego Ninjago City Crab Shack. And he's got a little fish on there. That looks cool. He's wearing his belt and his khakis. Almost looks like a Christmas sweater, to be honest. No offense, little man. You can see he's got some more. No idea what that means, but it looks cool. Just detailing. Here's his popsicle. It looks like right now he's got a good grip on it. So yeah guys, let's move him over. So there's all the cool little minifigures guys. Looks really awesome. I'm a huge fan of the minifigures in this set. I really like them. I'll probably have a special display case just for them. But anyways, we're here to see the fire mech. So let's move all of these uh, special figures out of the way. Let's get this stud and this little ice cream out of the way. And me, which by the way, I just want to do a size comparison. There's me compared to it. You know, Lego minifigures aren't very tall to begin with, but this thing's freaking massive and very tall, almost as tall as these really big lava lamps in the background, which always seem to be broken in all of my videos. But anyways, let's move me out of the way and come in. So starting off, I just want to say I really love the color scheme of this. I really like their new molding for this really bright, vibrant red for all the Lego pieces that they have on this, or at least the majority of them. Uh, you can see some of the cool little details, these little silver venting pieces. Pretty much everything on this can swivel, move, bend, flex. It's awesome. So you can style it, stand it, position it, however the heck you want to. But these look cool. I mean, if you get four of them together, you can probably make like a Lego tomato. I mean, I don't know how much of you guys like tomatoes or not, but you could do that. So you got a lot of stickers, not gonna lie. Lots and lots of stickers, which I myself am not a fan of stickers, guys. It makes it feel cheap and sometimes really boring because if you didn't have the stickers on it it would look absolutely different but in this set in particular I think it looks pretty good there's not really any printed pieces I'm not gonna lie about that either but you know what it looks awesome and it doesn't really matter this sets more designed for play so playability features which it's got quite a few of them but yeah starting at the bottom going up you got lots of cool little designs different angles all these things are mounted differently and they kind of just all conglomerate into one really good looking machine 
So you can see the inside of the legs, you got these little joints, these really cool little mechanical things. No purpose, just lots of details. Looks really, really cool. Um, come around, you can see some more stickers on the sides of the legs. Lots more stickers, actually. So some uh, numbers and stuff. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to see the movie to understand what some of these things mean. I've just seen the trailers. That's how I know this guy's stuck in cement because in all the trailers it shows him and his wife or fiance, girlfriend, whatever she is, and they split up and she goes, no, and he goes, you don't have to leave me, and she just leaves him, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I can't wait to see the Lego movie, guys. I'll probably maybe even do a vlog of the Lego movie when I get to it, and I'll tell you guys my thoughts of it, if you should see it or not, because I'm going to be there the first day it opens. But um, let's see, moving on, you can see you come up more, the legs, really cool looking, they move, there's joints on the feet, so you can twist them around, these legs clip in and out, so they move around, kind of snap, you can see the whole thing kind of jiggles. Um, you got some different colored bricks all around, this dark red, this bright red, you come around, there's some black bricks, some silver bricks, it all just conglomerates, like I said, I'm using that word a lot, conglomerate, you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments what the heck that even means just sounds right but you got these cool things these are maybe like sirens or some sort of uh maybe they're even laser cannons but you got blue and red that looks cool looks mixes well together so you can lift up right here and you can also lift uh this little front windshield down you can see that's where kai sits and i'll put him in there just for just for giggles we'll sit him in there if i can do it with one hand all right maybe come on come on buddy just two little studs, yep, so you can see he fits in there nicely and he can reach up and grab these little control sticks to make it go left, right, left and walk forward and back. So we'll lift that up. Uh, we'll close this down, but you can see, really simple in there, but it's cool once you see him in there because it's like, man, he is ready to roll. So come up, you've got these really cool flags. I'm assuming this is symbolizing fire and this is some sort of... Japanese lettering word or some sort of symbol from the movie. Like I said, guys, I don't know a whole lot because I haven't seen the movie. I've seen the TV show, but it seems as if the movie is going to be its own whole entire thing, so I don't know how valid that is. He's got these really, really cool flamethrower arms, hence the name, which is a fire mech, so I'm assuming he can shoot fire, right? So you can see he's got these really cool flames blowing out. It looks cool because this is probably where the, uh, the propane shooting through the tanks and coming through these hoses and then this little flame right here ignites it and it goes just blows out like that and there's a little turning knob back here which you can do and it kind of turns this to make it look like the fire is spiraling and blowing out so that's kind of a cool play feature for sure does it the same way on this side this little knob turns and I'll show you guys the back I just want you to see this from a front perspective before we go to the back um, but yeah that looks great really broad shoulders and shoulders do have a play feature as well here's the side view of it so it's pretty slim you can tell maybe it's machine works out at the robot gym or something maybe that's why he's got so many enemies but uh if you lift the arm which it does it comes up like this you can see these cool probably more uh laser beams that shoot out and this little arm does move out like this so you can give it lots of different looks guys lots of different standing points uh here's that little knob i was telling you about here's the cord that comes through that blows the propane or whatever gas it uses to ignite this flame um, in Lego world, however they do it, but you can turn around to the back and you can see they even do some more mechanical looking uh, Features on the back just to add more detail uh, These actually don't serve a purpose, but they just look so cool. I mean it just it's great So it doesn't bend at the knees it bends at the feet. There's a little bit of a joint down there There's a little bit of joint up here it looks awesome the backs a little bit simple kind of ugly in a way But that's how robots are they're never really that beautiful on the back because that's where all the stuff goes down but um You've got an extra little uh, bullet here, a little disc for the shooter. So this is what they look like. Um, if you come around, here's the tanks. The two tanks that are probably holding the gases that create the fire that blows out. So hopefully you use it wisely, Mr. Kai, when you're going up against Garmadon. Uh, but yeah, look at that, guys. Just really neat looking robot. I mean, it, they say it's a mech. A mech's cool, but I'd rather just use the word robot because that's a much more familiar term for myself. It looks absolutely amazing. Uh, you got another extra little uh, shooter right here. So when you do shoot the gun, which I'll show you that last. But yeah, you come around, here's the other side. So pretty much identical all around, but it just it's really cool. I mean, this this will be a really fun set just to set up on display and make it do some sort of really cool move. Like it's sliding, stepping, running, whatever, about to attack. But um, there's one little thing I didn't show you guys, and that is right here. 
push this little knob right here, you'll see it just sticking out, which it's really a, you wouldn't know. If, I, if you haven't seen this video or any other review, you wouldn't know, but you push this little tab back here and it'll shoot out this little disc, which you can see it's sticking out just a little bit, so it's another play feature, but I'm gonna do it for you. You just shoot it out like this and it goes boom, and it just shoots right out. So it has that on this side and it has it on the other side over here. So it's identical all around, but guys, um, if I'm going to give this a score out of 10, whether you should buy it or not, I would definitely probably give it a good solid 9.5. If you enjoy playing with your sets or putting them on display, this one's going to look awesome. I'd recommend buying other Ninjago movie sets with it just so you can have them all kind of standing, ready to fight. You can see this thing's ready to brawl. It's ready to go. It's ready to box. Um, it's ready to blow fire. So yeah, guys, I'd definitely give it a good solid 9, 9.5 out of 10 for sure. Totally worth the money. Uh, for the amount of pieces you get, I believe it comes with 944. Let's check real quick. Yeah, 944 pieces. You can't go wrong. I mean, I picked this up for $79. I mean, when do you ever get almost a thousand pieces for only $79? You can't go wrong. Totally pick it up, guys. I know you'll enjoy it. If you enjoy playing with them, you'll enjoy playing with this one. If you enjoy putting them on display, do it, but buy more Lego Ninjago sets, guys. So this has been another review with Bricks and Studs, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and make sure to tune back in for more.